Canada decided to hold, or rather the Canadian Prime Minister, Conservative slash Unionist Robert Borden decided to hold a wartime election on December the 17th, 1917. The number of uh, parliamentarians was raised to 235. Uh, the government candidates or unionist candidates received a total of some uh, 1,071,000 votes, or 56.9% of the total, and 153 seats. The Logia Liberals received about 730,000 votes, or 38.8% of the vote, <clears throat> uh, and 82 seats. Conscription was an issue. In other words, the compulsory military service of uh, those Canadian men who were of military age <coughs> and judged according to medical examination as physically and emotionally fit for military service. Many French Canadians, particularly in Quebec, opposed this measure. <coughs> and Mr. Laurier refused to join the coalition over the issue of conscription. He worried that agreeing to Borden's coalition offer would cause that province or Quebec to abandon the Liberals and perhaps even Canada. To ensure victory for conscription, Borden introduced two laws to skew the voting towards the government. The first of one of them, the Wartime Elections Act, disenfranchised or took away the right to vote from conscientious objectors. In other words, uh, men uh, of military age who, because of their religious or moral beliefs, uh, said that they could not uh, serve in the army in good conscience. And Canadian citizens, if they were, were born in enemy countries, so especially Germany and Austria-Hungary, <clears throat> and had, had arrived after 1902. The law also gave female relatives of Canadian soldiers the vote. So the 1917 Canadian federal elections were the first federal elections where some women were allowed to vote. The other law, new law that uh, Prime Minister Borden passed, which uh, biased the election results in favor of the Unionist government, was the Military Voters Act, which allowed soldiers serving abroad to choose which riding or electoral district their vote would be counted in or to allow the party for which they voted to select the writing in which the vote would be counted. And that allowed government officials to guide the strongly pro-conscription soldiers um, <clears throat> into voting in those writings where they would be more useful. Servicemen were given a ballot with a simple choice of government or opposition. And then soon after passing these measures, uh, through the House of Commons and then the Senate, Borden convinced a faction of liberals using the name Liberal Unionists, along with Gideon Decker Robertson, to join with them forming the Unionist government in October 1917. He then dissolved Parliament to seek a mandate in the election. And won <clears throat> the election, but he then resigned as Prime Minister in the summer of 1920 to be succeeded by uh, Arthur Meehan, <coughs> who during the Winnipeg uh, general strike of 1919 had taken a tough law and order approach against uh, the left-wing uh, strikers and unionists. <coughs> 